government is doing things for you. You feel like the government is helping you out and doing things for you and, and has your interest, your best interest in hand? That's why I'm going to vote because I believe But have, they... has it ever, have you ever felt like that? Who well, just say what happens when you go pull a lever and they say, oh yeah, we counted the votes and there's this and... Who knows what goes on, man? You got... I know, but when... You okay. have nothing... Hey, church, chief, you have nothing to do with any of it. Any of it. It's some cats that run this thing. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, he's crazy and rock the vote and all that. <laughs> there are a bunch of cats that run this planet and we are, they just wait on the higher power to handle things. I mean, read your Bible. I read Revelations and they say nothing about, and thou shalt rock the vote. I'm of a Hindu goddess and it's not a black name. One of her relatives, his name is Jesse Smollett, the one that got caught up with that fraud thing. He's her nephew by marriage. And they got pictures of Jesse Smollett buying this noose during Halloween season at a costume shop. They've got it on video. And on security cameras, you can see him putting the noose around his own neck. And he had met with Kamala just before that, and she and Cory Booker, this is the same day when he flew into Chicago. They had been working on something that Conyers came up with in 1997 that is now modified and introduced as the Emmett Till anti-lynch bill. Wow. Remember the neck? Yes. And the whole thing, they went off and then they had to withdraw it because of the fraud that came out. Wow. Well, see, this is something they're trying to do. And maybe this will give you an idea of how they're sneaking around here. The Emmett Till anti-lynch bill has nothing to do with black people. No, no bill they put up has anything to do with black people. No. Or it, just it, the headline. But then but when you the read it. The headline does. Yeah. But what it does is it puts into the American federal criminal laws for the first time sexual orientation as a victim category for criminal offenses. Now, when you think of a lynching, you think of a mob killing somebody, right? Well, the Emmett Till anti-lynch bill, one, doesn't require a mob. It can be one person. It doesn't even require a homicide, you can kidnap somebody or beat somebody. Let's say you have a guy who's broken up with his girlfriend or his wife, and he's feeling down, and some of his friends say, hey, man, let's go to a club. He's dancing with this PYT, pretty young thing. They're having a good time exchanging spit over in the shadows and drinking wine, <laughs> and then he looks down. Man, you got a heart? What are you? You got a heart on, and he bust him in the mouth. Now that's federal lynching. Wow. So, wow. What they did with it, you see this bait and switch. Did you hear about Bank of America? If you bank at Bank of America, you may want to listen to this whole video because this could have something to do with you. So, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm here to entertain you. Here we go. Bank of America has officially declared that it will no longer accept specific dollar bills starting in late 2024, which is pretty much now. This decision is part of the bank's broader strategy to streamline transactions, reduce handling costs, and promote the use of digital banking solutions. Do you understand what that means, you guys? Do you? If you do, put the comments, your comments in comments, please and share with other people that are confused. If you have cash in Bank of America, I know what I would be doing right now. What are you doing? I know some of you are gonna say, well, I bank of Bank of America, and I'm not seeing this. Pay attention, do your research. It's out there, call them and ask them. They're not gonna hide it from you. Because if it hasn't happened to your bank yet, it's gonna happen any day now or any week. He said within the fall of 2024, well, we're now in the fall. Google it. Call your bank if you're with Bank of America. I'm just getting the word out. Just trying to help you guys. That's all. Safety warning from the CDC tonight. Health officials confirm they are investigating an E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's quarter pounder hamburgers in multiple states. 49 people in 10 states have been sickened, according to the CDC. Ten people had to be taken to the hospital, and we know one person has died in Colorado. Illinois, we should tell you, is not listed in the states affected, but Wisconsin, Iowa, and Missouri are on the list. 
Right now, the CDC is still working to determine what ingredient could be linked to the illness. So far, they say there could be more cases yet to be reported. Chicago-based McDonald's has reportedly stopped using fresh onions and quarter-pounder beef patties in several states. Food safety.